All right, what's up, guys? So, uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I don't know if you guys saw yesterday, but something's going on with the ignition. So we're here in the Civic. Uh, hi, baby. So we're gonna go get an uh, ignition switch, or a, I think it's called like a cylinder lock or something. See if that's at, if that's it. If not, it could be the actuator. Then if it's not either of those, which are really cheap parts, then I'm gonna start looking into the starter relay, which is even cheaper. And then maybe the starter, but I don't know. This is weird. I've never had anything like this happen to a car, so I don't know. I guess you, this is how you learn shit. So going to Pet Boys right now, picking up some parts. Well, picking up the cylinder lock first. If that doesn't work, then I gotta load Layla back up and then head over to AutoZone because they carry the actuator. So yeah, hopefully we get it fixed today. If not, looks like I'm calling out tomorrow and getting it fixed. I don't know about you guys, but when like something goes wrong with the truck or something's wrong, like I can't work. Like it bugs the shit out of me all day, and I can't start doing anything. So, yeah, uh, hope you enjoy. I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. I gotta watch later too while I'm doing this. So, yeah, tell them, baby, say like and subscribe. Be that. That's right. Ricky. What's up, guys? So we're back home. Now it's time to try to throw on this new I guess ignition lock whatever the key pretty cool to sell these and pretty cheap so hopefully this is it if not I have to dismantle this whole fucking thing but it seems like it's intact so that's what I'm not getting but I don't know we'll see hopefully it's an easy fix hopefully this does it so let's see yeah Hold this. Thank you. Let's turn the radio now. A Ricky? Yeah, I need to move it a little bit. Hope this works. Rick. It better work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Bam. Got it. So that's the original one. Um, honestly, it looks the same. It looks not even that bad. So, ooh. We'll see. It's dirty. Look, it has grease. Yeah, leave it right here. Yeah. Right here. Let's take the keys off. Yeah, leave it right here. Let's try to put this one on. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. Are you? Are you? It's gross. Yeah. All dirty. Yeah. It's okay. So it wasn't that. That fucking sucks. That would have been too easy, huh, baby? So now I'm leaning towards the actuator, which I really hope it's not. Because then I have to take everything apart. Or it could be the ignition switch. So I don't know. We'll see. I didn't fix it. What's up guys, so the cylinder lock or ignition switch or whatever, that wasn't it. I mean it's nice to have a new one, it's only like 12 bucks so I'm gonna leave it on. So I was on YouTube right now looking up stuff and talking to some people and I think it's gonna be, it's called an actuator so it's what 
it pretty much has a little it's like a weird l shape and the bottom the smaller bottom part of the l is what usually breaks so i think that's what happened because as i'm turning it i can see it moving but it's not engaging anything which is weird so i don't know i'm gonna go check that out probably pick up an ignition switch as well so i'm gonna have to go to autozone and then back to fat boys so it has to be one of those two so it's gonna be a fun day taking the shit apart so we'll see i'll let you guys know or i'll start filming again when we get back there I'm getting kind of annoyed with you So I just replaced the ignition switch and it's not that either. But the old one was broken so I needed it. So now I see between the wiring, the starter relay, or the starter itself. Because everything's clicking on, everything's getting power. It's just I wonder if the power is getting to the starter relay or to the starter. So at first I thought it was gonna be the actuator. But the lever's moving and everything's engaging, so it's not that. So now it's time to check the starter relay and then hop under and then see if a couple hammer hits jump start the starter. So I don't know, we'll see. Alright, back to the parts store. So that wasn't it kind of sucks that would have been an easy fix but of course it's never that easy so now we're off to AutoZone pick up a starter relay and a starter that allowed them to make two trips hopefully it's the starter relay or hopefully it's the starter because if it's not one of those two then I don't know but before I throw on the starter uh, right now I was checking the wiring everything seems fine I, I, I ran through all the wiring everything's getting 12 volts so I don't know, I'll probably check it again. So yeah, starter, starter relay. We're gonna start with the relay first. Hopefully that's it because when I was doing the battery tray, I broke the previous relay. So I'm thinking all this started with the new relay, but I don't know, we'll see. I'll be back. What's up guys so I don't know the wasn't the starter it wasn't the starter uh, relay so I don't know I can't think of anything the the actuator seems like it's intact because every time I turn the key it's engaging and then when I replace the ignition switch I pulled on it and everything seems fine I mounted it right, I installed the actuator into the ignition switch, the ignition switch. I just ugh, fucking pissing me off. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I kind of stopped recording towards the end because oh, I'm fucking mad. So we checked all the grounds, we checked everything, everything seems fine. There's nothing really that we 
we thought it could be. We thought maybe the the actual wire to the starter, so we replaced that with the heavier duty and put conduit just to see if it was touching anywhere and it wasn't that. So I'm thinking tomorrow it's time to pull the steering column apart after work. So I'm going to work early so I can get out earlier. Cause yeah, it's gonna fucking suck. So right now I'm gonna go get my core back for the starter. I'm gonna go return the core and get some money back for the starter. I'm gonna go return the relay. And yeah, tomorrow's just gonna be taking that shit apart. Um, I, was, I was watching YouTube videos of how to do it and it doesn't seem like fun. So I'll probably just time lapse it cause I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get fucking annoyed. So yeah, I don't know. I guess part two tomorrow or I'll just upload everything once I'm done. But right now I'm stumped. So if you guys have any ideas, leave them in the comments. Um, anything I should try, anything I should that I missed. Or if you just think what it might be, just let me know. Because yeah, it's just kicking my ass. And what sucks is that, I mean, we still have some time till our Kings Canyon trip, but fuck man like I thought the shit was running perfect and now I guess I was wrong so thank you for watching sorry I couldn't get it fixed uh, stay tuned I'll keep filming tomorrow after work uh, yeah have a good one like subscribe tell your friends so they can maybe they'll know but yeah thank you all right, what's up guys? So, good news and bad news. I think I found it. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it, but there's this little shiny metal thing in the middle right there. I'll try to put an arrow to it. Well, that's the actuator. And I just realized that it broke. So it's a $10 part, but a pain in the ass to switch out because everything has to come off. But at least I know now that's everything. But it's crazy how that caused the starter relay and the starter to go out, which is fucking weird. But at least now I know. Alright, what's up guys? So today was kind of a fail, but not really. So I found out what it was, it was an actuator. As I started tilting the steering the steering wheel, the steering column, I noticed this little shiny square. And I was like, what the fuck is that? And it reminded me of a lot of pictures I saw on YouTube and Google about when the actuator breaks. So it's a $10 part, and most shops charge like about $100 to get it fixed because it's a $10 part, but it's a fucking pain in the ass. Everything has to come off, and it's like the last piece on the steering column before you get into the dash. So. Um, it's just weird like how that short how that caused something to short out and then kill the solenoid and The starter like that's fucking I, I, I've never heard of that, but there's a new starter a new solenoid uh, new ignition uh, cylinder lock a new ignition switch so Fuck it, whatever um, So yeah tomorrow's gotta go find it. It's a $10 part after work. I'm gonna go to AutoZone get a steering wheel puller and then just knock it out but uh probably not gonna film it well i'll probably time lapse it because i really have to take my time it's a bunch of little fucking screws and i don't have patience for that so i don't know we'll see but yeah today was kind of cool i got a lot of done i got a lot done and then i actually figured out what the fuck it is so tomorrow i'm gonna knock it out and get it done so yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed hope my problems are your entertainment I like that. I hope you like that. Uh, thank you. Subscribe, like, and yeah, thank you for watching. Tomorrow will be part two, and hopefully tomorrow we get the shit running. And fuck, man, something so stupid and so little. Like, why not just make that piece stronger if it just keeps failing? And they still use that fucking piece in trucks these days. It's fucking dumb. But yeah, whatever. I'll get that shit knocked out. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace out. Okay, go. What? And Ryan. subscribe. Yeah, tell your mommies. Mommy. Tell your daddies. Daddy. Tell your grandma. Mama.
tell Pablo, Pablo. Like, like and subscribe. Bye! Bye!